Hello everyone, this is Beastly Eel, and on this episode I decided that we should um, get to know my kind of taste in villains. Um, so where I want to go with this is I'm going to be talking about my top three villains. Um, I know what you're thinking, why three? But I'm going to be talking about the three villains that I think are the best in the big three right now. So in DC, in Star Wars, and in Marvel. So I'm going to be talking about my favorite villain in each one of them. I'm um, going to kind of give you an explanation of why and and just about so you have a kind of idea of where my taste is as well. Um, all three of these characters are completely different, um, have very different reasons why they are my favorite villain. Um, <clears throat> and I just felt like this is I've always been leaning more towards villains anyway when reading comics and stuff like that. So definitely talking about them is really more about what I like to talk about as well. Um, so let's start off with, we're going to start off with Star Wars. So Star Wars we did talk about a little bit. Um, this guy is a Sith Lord, um, wields a, light, a red lightsaber. Um, he was thought to be killed and was brought back into the movies later, I mean into the Star Wars universe later. Um, it is actually... Darth Maul, who later just becomes Maul. Um, the reason why I like him, um, visually, he is a very stunning villain. I mean, the red and the black um, skin, the horns, everything about him um, just radiates evil, um, which is kind of the point. And we see him kill Liam Neeson's character, um, and then Obi-Wan slices him in half, and we think he's dead. Um, even in that small instance, he just radiated so much evil energy and evil power. Um, obviously, he wasn't the strongest around, but it was just interesting to see. Well, later on in Clone Wars, we actually find out that he's alive. Um, he survived. He used his force ability to kind of create legs for himself and became more of a savage. Um, he later snapped out of it, was able to get um, suitable legs, and then decided to take over Mandalore and start taking over a criminal and creating a criminal empire. Um, he did something to try to rival um, Lord Sidious, uh, Darth Sidious. Um, he wanted to compete with him and eventually overthrow him. Towards the end of Clone Wars, he gets attacked by Lord Sidious himself. His brother gets killed, and he basically um, is beaten down to nothing by Darth Sidious. Um, with ease, mind you. It was not even a close fight. It was kind of very sad. Um, we also find out that he built up his empire again. Um, at some point, because of ha the Han Solo movie, we notice that he actually um, built it back up again. And then during, after he was defeated, defeated by Darth Sidious, and we're not quite sure what happened to his criminal empire, he began in Rebels to start looking for Jedi and Sith um, artifacts. Um, and then he later found out that he, he was going to find the uh, Chosen One to help take down Darth Sidious and in the end it was his downfall and he was taken out by his arch ne nemesis um, Obi-Wan Kenobi um, and Dar Maul only wanted to make sure that the person that he felt or saw was the Chosen One and Obi-Wan informs him that yes, yes he was or yes he believes he is so he's just a compelling villain he's done so much in such a so short amount of time um, and also just the idea of him being like the Darth Vader before Darth Vader um, taken out, thrown away like trash and then try to then try to overthrow that person who just threw him out um, it was just interesting it, it, it was a nice story arc and I definitely just enjoyed that ride and obviously there's still stories to be told about Darth Maul but definitely um, one of my favorites obviously um, so let's move on to Marvel. So Marvel has a 
big group of villains. Um, and they can sometimes just be have weird reasons to be evil. Um, and there's one that he doesn't really seem like the villain in this. And the reason why I bring this up is because he um, is a leader of his own country. Um, he is well versed in magic and technology. Um, his main villains have been the Fantastic Four, also Spider-Man at times, um, and also potentially the entire Avengers at certain moments in time as well. Um, it is none other than Dr. Von Doom. Um, so Victor Von Doom, there are different stories of how he got his powers, um, solar radiation, the negative zone, multiple variations of how he got his powers. Um, but realistically, all it was was he kind of burnt his skin and was able to, um, to a certain degree, manipulate energy. Um, but he made this power suit that kind of covered his entire body. Um, and the rumor was, or at least in the comics, what had happened was he was too impatient and put the face mask on too early before it cooled and burnt his face. Um, more so than he had already damaged it because um, he had like a couple of scars on his face and he didn't want people to see it anymore. Um, so Dr. Doom's on this list because he's a villain, obviously. Um, he wants to take over the world um, and have complete world domination. But he, it's his reasoning that makes him such a compelling villain in my in, in my opinion. Um, it probably wasn't his original backstory, but it's the one I remember most. And um, so what had happened was to understand magic better, um, he wanted to go back to when magic had started. So what had happened was he went back in time to when magic first started and learned everything. Um, and because of that, he decided to stay, because apparently he had longevity, um, and stayed through time that way and was able to gain so much power and sorcery that could even match Doctor Strange at certain points. Um, and a combination of his technology, his resources, uh, his power suit, and just his intelligence in general made him a powerful foe against the Avengers and other Marvel heroes in general. Um, and the reason why it's so compelling to me is because apparently he saw the future as well, uh, which he saw that it was just going to be destroyed by just society in general, I would imagine. And he wanted to take it over to save it. Now, obviously, it was a, a noble reason to want to take over the world. Um, <clears throat> obviously, still wrong. But it just makes the character much more complex and much in, very interesting to read uh, um, in the comics. Um, <clears throat> and I cannot wait to see um, Va uh, Victor in the cinematic universe because I would love to see how they portray him in the MCU. Um, and just, will they do the same thing with the comics? Will they make him seem like a villain who is understanding? Like we can understand where he's coming from. Is it a villain that we can sympathize with for a little bit, but still realize that what he's doing is wrong? Um, and that's why he's on that list. I mean, that's why he, in my opinion, is my favorite um, Marvel villain. So let's move on to the last one, which is the DC villain. Now this DC villain is completely different than the other two. Um, straight up evil um, from the moment he gets in, introduced into the comics till ever. Um, there are a couple of variants of him that are good, but overall the name Joker um, is synonymous with evil. Um, the Joker, the reason why he's I like him so much is the fact that he part of it has to do with the fact that he doesn't he takes away his humanity um, and does such awful things to these heroes and to the point where these heroes should be able to defeat him with ease because he's nothing more than just a regular human. And I know I sound awful saying it like that, but realistically, he's not superpowered. He does not have any superhuman abilities. Um, I mean, he can take a hit and stuff like that. But overall, his strength, his speed, his durability are pretty much... Um, exactly 
very similar to just a regular human being. Um, it's his insanity, but he's not completely crazy because he's able to come up with plans that make sense and actually are able to be followed through properly. So we see him do such destructive things um, just to mess with people. I mean, he's made people kill themselves. He's put people in situations where it's either they have to decide whether they live or the others die. I mean, or the others live. So it's just a complex character in the sense of what is he going to do next? How is he going to top himself? That's more of what I get with him. Um, and he's also just, he's, he goes up against like Superman, Greenland, like he's gone up against all these heroes who should be able to defeat him with ease. And he breaks them almost every time. And it's just so weird to see. I mean, there was one instance in the Injustice universe where he convinces, he gets Superman to kill his wife and unborn child and then blow up Metropolis just because he was bored. I mean, it's just bizarre to me that that's, that's a character we talk about. And it's just compelling. And I think people have a huge issue, especially when it's in a live action, um, when they make Joker seem too human. Um... And I think that's what makes it, in my opinion, better and more disturbing. What I mean by that is, they really show that he was just human. Like, he was just a regular person at some point in his life and turned into this. This, incredib this incredibly insane human being who is really just as bad as the devil, I would assume, himself. Um, just to cause chaos in the world to mess with everyone's lives. And the other weird thing that always gets me is he's never been put to death. I mean, it's just so bizarre to me for crimes that that severe that he's able to just keep coming back again and again. Now, I know, obviously, it's comic books and, you know, they like it to be out because it makes it entertaining. But realistically, when you look at it from the real standpoint, they should have gotten rid of him permanently. Um... If it was a real universe, obviously. But definitely, so like I said, those are my three big ones. So it's Darth Maul for Star Wars, Doctor Doom for Marvel, and Joker for DC. Um, tell me who your favorite villains are. Um, it doesn't have to be just this. I mean, uh, these three. I mean, you can talk about Power Rangers. You can talk about um, anime. It doesn't matter to me. Let me know in the comments what you think. Who do you think is the, the um, your favorite villain? And why? I'm curious. Um... As always, if you like the content you see, please like and subscribe below. Um, other than that, we have just a, um, six days left, so I have six more videos for the month of July. Um, I'm hoping you enjoy this. Um, other than that, this is Beast of Eel signing out. Have a good night.